Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson entitled Salvage Priority List, where we will try to define what priority lists are and why they are important during an emergency in a cultural institution. I am Francesca Piron and I am project manager at Mazzini Lab Società Benefit. Here are the different sections that will make up this lesson. Uh, first of all, in part one, we will start with a basic overview on the topic, defining what priority lists are and their main objectives. We will then continue by identifying the different steps that are necessary for the creation of a priority list focusing in particular in part two on the different criteria that can be used for choosing the artworks that are part of it. Finally, in part three, we will continue with the procedures for creating a priority list by identifying the fundamental data and information that must be added to the list in order for it to be effectively useful in the event of an emergency. So let's now start with the first section of this lesson. So what is a priority list and what are the main objectives that you intend to achieve by drawing up a priority list? Let's start from a very basic concept. In case of emergency, it is impossible to save everything. Unfortunately, in this sector, we always have to think by imagining the worst case scenario and imagine the most serious situation that could happen to our collection. Only in this way, we will be able to react and to ensure effective management of even minor emergencies. So we must be ready for anything. In an emergency, no one is strong enough and prepared enough to save an entire museum collection without risking their own safety. Then imagine the immense consistency of the museum collection that we know. Hundreds or thousands of artworks, all very precious and of inestimable value. Unfortunately, some emergencies do not allow us to save, to save the entire collection. And for this reason, we have to identify the works whose loss would completely seize the very identity of the museum that houses them. So what is a priority list? A priority list is therefore a list of small number of objects that most of all represent the museum's identity and mission. And for this reason, they are the artworks that must be saved first in case of emergency. So the priority list is a document that should be printed and included inside the emergency plan of a museum so that the emergency teams have the tools to be able to save the most important artworks of the collection. When I said that, when I say that it is a short list, I mean that it is really short, a very, very limited number of objects and of artworks uh, could be part of the priority list. For example, they could be 10, 15, 20, depending on the consistency of the collection. Often, in the event of particularly serious emergencies, such as, for example, large fires or earthquakes, there are very few works that can be recovered and taken out by the fire brigades. So now we will identify in detail uh, the different objectives for the preparation of a priority list. First of all, sharing. All those involved in rescue operations must be aware of the priority works on which to act. So everyone should be on the same page about things that need to be saved first because they are the most important artworks of the collection. 
but with whom should we share this information? First of all, the internal staff. All personnel must be alerted in the event of an emergency as to which works of fundamental importance, importance must be saved. So everyone, in order to help, to be helpful in the salvaging procedures, must know the, the, the artworks that need to be saved. At the same time, it is essential to share this information with emergency teams, especially firefighters and civil protection. In many cases, in fact, only they will be able to access inside the building that is in an emergency. And therefore, we have to fully entrust ourselves to them for the recovery of the priority artworks. So it's important to share the list with them so they will know on which artwork to, to work on. But we need to be careful because it is not certain that the firefighters and the civil protection know the collection or are able to distinguish which are the priority works within the museum. Because perhaps they have not been specifically trained for the recovery of artworks and cultural heritage. So for this reason, they must be put in a position to be able to act as effectively as possible. So it's important to share with them all the information necessary for the salvaging and the recovery of the collection. The second objective is to act as promptly as possible to save the, to save the artworks affected by an emergency. So our primary goal is to leave the artworks as little as possible in an unfavorable condition that can damage them. Just think that scientific literature recommends a maximum stay in adverse condition of up to 48 hours for works on paper. After this time, biological and fungal attacks begin to develop, which can severely damage the artwork. The priority list, with all of the information you will see later on the, in the next uh, part of this lesson, therefore basically works like a manual containing all the guidelines for securing works as quickly as possible. The third goal is to save resources. The operation of saving a collection can be extremely expensive operation of different types of resources, which can be invaluable in these exceptional cases for a museum. By resources, we mean above all, obviously, economic resources. Acting without a line and a planning can risk making us spend a lot of money on operation that could have been foreseen and planned. Scientific literature estimates show that a dollar spent in planning can save up to $7 in emergency management procedures. Afterwards, a key resource is the work of the employees of a cultural institution. Acting in a disorderly manner can make us waste a lot of time and energy of non-priority artworks, then greatly complicating the operation of saving the most important works. Ultimately, a fundamental resource is represented by the materials that are necessary for the protection, the packaging, the handling of the works. If we waste these materials for handling non-priority works, they, then they won't be enough for the really important ones. Another very important uh, objective is identifying and analyzing the priority artworks um, that allows us to think about the best procedures to implement for their protection, packaging, and handling. 
So thank you very much for your attention. This slide represents the end of part one. So we will see you in the next parts.